welcome back to the kitchen. You might be welcome back, you might be new, but hello, welcome to you. Today I'm going to make one of my favourite types of like buttercream cakes to make and it's a watercolour cake. There's lots of different ways you do watercolour. The reason I love it is because it's just so pretty but also it's quite a nice quick and easy one to do. It's just really on trend. I've already crumb coated this cake so if you want to know how to crumb coat check out this video here and um, I'm going to go over with more white buttercream and I've got a nice selection of pastel colours. So first of all what I'm going to do is just coat over roughly with some white buttercream. It's just kind of giving me a bit of a base layer to sort of start with. I'm just doing it randomly with this method. I'm going to be doing a scrape off method. So I do put it on fairly thickly. I'd say like three or four millimetres. I'm just going to add some colours all around just randomly. I'm doing it on the palette knife because I don't want kind of like lumps. Bit of there, spread that around. A little bit of the blue one. Just kind of splashing it wherever I fancy. At this stage, it looks like one of those old fashioned swimming hats. Pink! Splatting it all on. And lastly, my green. Splattity splat, splat, splat. There we go. Right, so we're done. <laughs> not really. No, actually, I, I actually think this is quite cool as it is. But we're, gonna, we're not going to leave it like this, we're going to now use a large palette knife and what I'm going to do is just kind of pal it round just very lightly, just once, just to slightly even off the coating and then I'm going to switch to my side scraper. You can use a ruler if you, if, if, yeah, one of those sort of thick plastic rulers you can use but these aren't very expensive, these are much easier than a palette knife but you can do it with just a palette knife if you only have one. Just to start off the process. There we go, so it's kind of, see it's already looking kind of very, very multicoloured. So again, just round with the top one, just like that. There we go. So now I'm going to use my usual trip, uh, tick, trip, tip, my usual tip. I'm going to wet this now with hot water. And now I'm going to go all the way around, just one sweep. Like that magical blending into one type of rainbow color but it's not completely blended i'm just going to go around with my palette knife at the top so i'm going to make sure that's completely clean before i go in with that i'm going to keep this a little bit damp as well all the way around the top using a nice firm pressure until i've got it nice and flat and there we go so i don't want to mess about with it too much more it's looking really nice and rainbowy fied if that's a word I'll just neaten off around the edges. So for that, I'm just going to use, um, I'm actually going to use a small sharp knife for that. A few little bits of um, the odd air bubble, a little bit of a kind of lump and a bump here and there. But the way I'm going to finish this cake, it doesn't matter, I'm going to cover over those. So I don't want to do any more smoothing at this point because I'll start to lose the effect. So just keeping my knife at a straight angle, I'm trying to kind of mirror the edge of the cake there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Um, it's kind of roughly coated. What I'm now going to do is just clear down. I'm going to get it onto a nice cake stand and do my finishing touches. I'll try not to drop this. So now I'm just going to finish it off with loads of cute little different multicolour blobs. I've got various different open and closed star nozzles here. So it's just really nice just to go, oh, blob. So you just squeeze very closely to the cake, stop squeezing and pull away. <laughs> Squeezing it all over. A small closed star nozzle there. Do it against the sides of the cakes, the little ones like this. If you have an air bubble or something you want to cover, that's when you kind of will go over in your strategic positions. So I've got a little closed star nozzle here. There we go, I think that is finished. I do get carried away with my uh, with my piping bags with all my pom-pom accents. So there it is, watercolour buttercream cake with a few pom-pom accents. Hope you enjoyed it. Everything you need to make this cake is just down there. And for more videos, please subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you really soon. Bye. Really wanted to put my face in that cake. <laughs> <laughs>